a powerful runner. They have speed at running back also, so they have a nice tandem in the backfield. Um, and then before that, before you even begin with that, again, the, the offense is centered around Wentz and, and his ability. So um, he has elite ability in this league. Again, he's powerful in the pocket. Um, again, unbelievable arm strength, um, competitive as hell. So um, again, hands full with that. And we know that we understand exactly who he is. Again, speed at wide receiver. Um, again, a receiving tight end, you know, who's uh, played fairly well in this league for a long time. Um, again, big X, a nice big wide receivers on the outside. They, you know, like they want to isolate and uh, again, play fade ball or, or, or throw comebacks too. So uh, again, it'll be a good challenge. How you been able to manage the secondary this week with some health issues? How you been able to do that in practice? Yeah, play what, I mean, run what we brung, you know? So like, yeah, we're going to play with the guys that we have. And um, yeah, like I said, every, everyone's excited about the opportunity. Everybody's excited about uh, getting their chance. So, you know, when, um, when you're waiting for your your chance, you know you're the backup. You're not the starter. You know, obviously you're always one play away. So, that's constantly preached, and uh, the guys understand that. And um, again, they'll will certainly be at our best and, and be prepared to go. Brown or Jones closer? Say it again. Is Brown or Jones closer? Oh, I'm not too sure. I mean, that's. I need a crystal ball for that one, but I wish I knew. I certainly okay. did wish I know. You've been around some defenses that dominate and create turnovers, and this defense hasn't done either one of those things to the level I think you guys expected. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your frustration level, and what solutions do you have? No, no frustration there. It's just a matter of time. So it's just patience, consistency, and effort. And those are the things that uh, eventually it will happen. And when they come, they come in bunches. The last thing that we need to do is press. And if we go out there and we get to press and we try to make things happen, we try to make, again, try to make or create miracles, that's where the problem comes in there. Because all of a sudden now, we're not as strong as where we should be. So discipline, continue to do what we're coached to do, and they will come and they will come in bunches. How much does the pass rush tie into that? And it's creating, helping create turnovers. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, it's all. It's again, rush and cover. We all do it together. Like I said, there, there's 11 men out there to play defense, and there isn't one particular area that you can point to and go, well, here's the issue. The Eagles will start a rookie at left tackle. What does that mean for Robert Quinn this week, and how do you want to see him take advantage? Well, we'll see. We'll see how they want to protect. Um, you know, like, essentially, that's their issue to deal with. Again, ours is, again, we're focused on us. You know, we're going to go out there and uh, we'll have our game plan and our job is to go out there and execute our game plan. Talk about a lot about the standard. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys haven't hit that yet. Why do you think you haven't hit the standard that you guys set for yourselves? Well, we just have to do our job. Everyone, like I said, everyone, because we're all in it together. We just have to do our job a little bit better. And that's what it comes down to. So if we do our job better and longer, then we'll be satisfied. It doesn't seem the impact from the defense has been the same as it was early last year when that unit helped carry along a struggling offense. A, do you agree that it, the impact hasn't been the same? And B, what's the difference? Well, we want our impact to be greater. That's that's the point. So we want our impact to be greater, and that's our choice. So that's still in our control. We control that. We just got to make sure we come out, we play discipline, we do our job, and we get that done. Why do linebackers, the young linebackers, don't seem like they've taken the next step in the in, in, you know, there's so much hope for Jalen and Layton coming into this season and the impact plays they made last year. They're not making this year. It's again, a matter of time. I say if um, it's the pursuit of perfection, yeah. um, obviously, again, right, we all set a very high standard for ourselves, them in particular, and uh, they're more than capable. And uh, again, the same idea is, is we go back, we prepare, everyone cares, everyone knows, and it, that's within our power. So. We take it all, we take the responsibility, we go out there and we know we need to perform. Pass rushers are judged by sacks a lot of times and Marcus is two and a half, but how would you judge his season so far and how he's played yeah. beyond just the sacks? You're right, they are theoretically judged by sacks, but like I said, pressures matter. And it's that we're, we're, we are all a work in progress. And if we are not at where we want to be right now, then we still have the power to change that. So that's each and every single man clear across the board. And, and so we, right now, the only thing that's on our mind is the next play. And that's the only thing that should be on our mind is the next play. Not about what has been, not about what we think, it's about what is, you know, what do we control. And ultimately, the only thing that we control is our preparation and the next play. Is that the cycle of snap stuff that players talk about with you guys? There it is, absolutely. With Tyrell Crawford Pro out for the year, how prepared is Tristan Hill to step in and fill in? I know he's inactive a couple of times this season. Yeah, he's been preparing his tail off. So, like I said, it's your opportunity now, and um, we'll see. 
There, there's no doubt about it. So we would not put him out there if we didn't trust that he was going to be capable of getting the job done. How's his progression level been since week one and week two? Yeah, we've, we've seen him grow, again, leaps and bounds. So we are pleased with his progress. Again, obviously, again, the, the, the fruit will bear itself again, when we get him out there, and we'll see. You guys have a defensive line rotation. At times, can that also mess up a guy's rhythm at times a little bit? You know, I mean, was that us overthinking it? Yeah, I, I, I do believe that's overthinking it. Um, I mean, you never can tell. Like, so we want them as fresh as possible because, like I said, rushing takes so much energy. Yeah, but there is a rhythm involved. So it's like it's it's all of that, you know. And yet that's our job as coaches to make sure that we're recognizing the rhythm of it, kind of combined with whether or not the guys need a blow. Because early in the game, in that game, and it suggests we notice probably your best pass rusher is not on the field early in the game because we're assuming you want them fresh, but one would think that. He's only playing 40, 50% of the snaps that you would think you would want him to play on more snaps. Yeah, well, bigger men, okay. greater effort. Okay. And if they need it, mm -hmm. we can give them a spell. Okay. I understand y'all are looking forward, but when you watched the film this week from the 92 yard touchdown, what did you see and what did you tell your players? The lack of discipline. Like I said, a lack of discipline. And, and that, that's day one stuff. And like I said, the, the, the crime is, is that we know better. And um, for us to, to allow that to happen, I say it's that that that's day one. You know, it, it's a part of our axioms, and we know and we understand that in those type of plays they cannot happen. We have to do everything in our power to make sure that they don't. Now, if it was a physical issue, okay, sometimes things happen. But when it's a mental issue, there's no excuse for it. Got a new uh, defensive tackle. What do you think? What do you like about him? Yeah, Justin. Um, Justin has he has power. He has size. Um, and obviously, again, being a, a 300 plus pounder, you know, just being able to get him on the inside and uh, be able to push the pocket and work internally. And we know we deal with a lot of zone and stretch schemes, so the power that he has in his hands, along with his ability to get off, it does fit us. Are we all specifically looking for a bigger body? Because he's 315, you mentioned 315. Tyrone was more of a position flex guy. Mm -hmm. Are you looking specifically for a guy who's you know that bigger size inside. Well, it, it, just, again, get, it just gives us more options. So when we're able to take a bigger body, you know, again, a guy like Kerry Hyder, you know, can can he uh, effectively fill the role as Tyrone? It's like, yeah, you, you look at a guy of uh, his stature, his build, and then it's like, yeah, okay, we have a guy that could fill that role there. But what about Tristan Hill? You know, another guy's again. So like, it's just a bunch of moving pieces. Um, again, we took the bigger body because we think that's going to help us the most. How would you? Or what did you see from Jordan Lewis on his interception? How would you assess his role on the week when your cornerbacks are? I said that's that's the closer, that's the closer. That's he, he's a guy that again, you can you can think of you can you can put your finger on and just being prepared week to week, biting, waiting for his time, waiting to have the impact. And there hasn't been a time that he stepped out there to where again he hasn't been impactful. So again, it's going to be good. It's going to be good for us to be able to get him out there on the field and just let him go. makes no difference. I said the only thing that matters to us is what's happening now. So again, the past is the past. We're focused on this week's preparation, and that's what we control. We have several players about how's Jason been. They say he's been the same. How have you and Rod been? The same. Have you guys been more on edge or been yelling at him more or just? <laughs> no. It's, it's, no. It's, uh, we are who we are, and that's all we know how to be. And essentially that's where our strength lies in. It's, we have to stay true to who we are, what we believe, the foundation of our standards. Again, and it starts with that. It starts with truth. And then ultimate truth is knowing who you are. Is it challenging to stay true to who you are if the past three games who you are might not have worked as well? No. Like I said, what do you believe in? I said, where, where have you built your foundation? Is it built on sand? Well, now you got issues. I said, our foundation, me in particular, my foundation is built on a rock. So the same storm is going to come, whether it's on sand or it's on rock. You, you got to deal with that. That's just life. You feel like because you have the, Jason always says the right type of guys that you don't have to cuss them out as much because they understand they're not doing the job. The well, you want them to. yeah, sure, but er, there's necessity in kind of different moments, and you, you, you gauge that when those opportunities present themselves. So um, there's a time and place for everything, and sometimes we're not perfect, so sometimes things happen and you, you may lose it a little bit but no having the right guys it does matter right because again they recognize it and and that's really that's the bottom line when you have a bunch of guys that care and they recognize it that's it you lost it's easier to change it you lost it this week lost what 
lost it. Yes. No, yeah, no, no, no. You may lose yeah. it. I mean, you may lose it. You, 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 no, you're yeah, human. Not a, you may lose it. You, yeah. you haven't lost it at all. No, I have not, not lost room, it. Not in the not during the game. No. No, not, not after last the last two-yard touchdown. Not after the line. Inside? <laughs> <laughs> inside? Are you talking about inside? It's inside, yeah. outside. You no. ain't let it go. Like I said, it's, it's again, little things here <laughs> or there. You know, it's, we, we all know and understand what we want to be, but there's empirical evidence of what it can be. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's too much good to, to, to really dwell on the things that aren't happening the way that we want it. Mm -hmm. It's one or two here or there. Again, we flip that thing around, and then obviously, again, it is what we want. How much emphasis has there been this week on tackling? Every week. Yeah, every week. Like I said, it's the lifeblood of our defense. So if we want to eliminate explosive plays, again, it starts with us staying on top in the secondary, and then tackling becomes the next most important thing after that. Everybody knowing their fits, everybody making their hits, and putting people on the ground. And we're talking so much about turnovers and, and the lack of turnovers. Uh, the Cowboys are the only team that's not scrimmaged one down. They started a scrimmage on the other side of the 50 on the opponent's yard line. Mm -hmm. uh, that speaks to the lack of turnovers or mm -hmm. short fields or whatever else. Is that a defensive stat or what the defense is not doing? No, well, we need to to do a much better job. Like I said, that's the proof is there and we, again, we understand that. So our focus is making sure that we get out there and we do our job properly in the tide of turn.